Hi there, Lisa Rana here, and I really appreciate you joining me today for another Assemble This video. Winnie the Pooh is back again and sending some birthday smiles. Join me for some Copic coloring and the assembly of this birthday card. I have my poo from the Sweet Little Smile stamp set by Unity Stamp Company stamped out on some Nina 80 pound cardstock using some Gina K Amalgam ink, which is Copic friendly. And then I pulled out a bunch of Copic markers. I'm starting with Poo, so I'm in the yellow family. I'm using Y000, Y00, Y13, Y15, and Y18. And I started out by adding the shadow first. So I used my darkest Y18, and I'm focusing on the bottom left of Poo. And I'm just drawing in the shadow focusing on that being the darkest part of Pooh's little body. And then I come in and I add a little bit of Y15 and Y13 to kind of extend that shadow out and to blend it. And then I finish off with his body being a bit of Y00 and Y000. Those are the lightest parts of Pooh's little body. So again, I'm just doing a couple layers and building up that vibrancy and the shadow. Each time the layer kind of soaks and dries into the paper, it lightens. So that's why I like to do a couple different passes. And then I'm going to make the honey the same color as Pooh, just to make it easy on myself. And then I noticed his little foot in the corner got missed, so I'm just gonna add in <laughs> that as well. Using the same method, focusing on the shadow being in the bottom left, and that being the darkest part and then lightening it up as I get to the upper right. Moved on to his hat and honey pot and I'm using some teal colors in the BG family. As you can see they're listed to the side. Again following that same technique of the bottom left being the, the darkest part of the image and then lightening up as I get up towards the upper right corner. Started with the shadow of the darkest BG18 and then slowly using my midtones to blend that out to the lightest in the corner. And then just to add a little bit of depth and dimension to those stripes on the pot, I'm using the dark and medium midtones for the stripes. When I'm done, I just kind of blend it out with the lightest color just to kind of make sure everything is nicely blended. And then if need be, I'll add in. A shadow at the end just to make everything nice and dark and contrasted if, if need be. Sometimes I don't need to. Now I'm just moving on to the grass which is really easy just two colors and I'm not going to make it complicated on myself so I just did I just did the two YG colors and then we're gonna add a bit of a, a sky background. I'm using BG11 which is the closest to Pooh's body. And then I'm going to lighten that and blend that out with some BG000. And I'm using a circular motion to blend that out and around uh, the Pooh's body. And then once I get to a size that I like, which is about here, I'm going to pull my zero blender and blend out that edge. Just kind of creates a softness that it blends into the background. So cute. Next, I stamped the 100 acre woods background stamp twice onto some cardstock, and I'm just quickly coloring this with Copic markers. I'm not even really paying attention because a lot of this will be covered up. I just wasn't sure what my plan was with it in the beginning. <laughs> but I'm just using the same Copic colors that I used for coloring poo and just coloring the background as well. As you can tell, I'm just using a scribbling motion, just kind of covering the background. Just wanted some color, not just a stark white, and I thought the Copics would, would work well, and it did. I'm, it turned out really great. And again, you can tell it's just some real quick scribbling. And once I was happy with the Copic coloring, I am going to blend on some vintage photo Distress Ink. I'm just focusing on the edges here and then I'll go over the entire surface as well just kind of create an aged 
look and it just blends everything together. And then I also added a bit of blending around each layer, uh, the poo layer and then the pattern papers that I'm using from the Magnolia Dreams Unity stamp uh, paper packs. I'm just adding a bit of blending to those edges as well so everything just kind of matches and blends together. Perfect. Next we're just going to assemble the card. So I covered my card base with that pretty magnolia pink paper and then next I die cut out the teal words paper and I'm just going to adhere that down straight to the card front at an angle and then next I'm pulling out our map of the 100 acre woods and just going to glue that straight down as well at a different angle. And then last we're going to pop poo up right in the center. I'm going to use some foam adhesive. This is two inch foam adhesive from scrapbook.com. It's my favorite and I use it all the time. Great, now we're just going to glue that or adhere that to the front of the card so he's popped up. And then just to add one last little touch, I pulled out some Gina Marie Designs enamel dots and just placing those down at an angle. I just thought it was fun, very birthday-like. And here is the finished card with that sweet little Winnie the Pooh colored with Copic markers. I just love all the layers from the stamped map to the pretty patterned papers and the little enamel dots were just the perfect fun touch for this birthday card. As always, I'll have all the supplies linked in the description of this video on my Dollhouse Designs YouTube channel and my blog. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you liked it. Plus, if you have any questions or comments, post below. Thanks for joining me. I hope you were inspired and I'll see you next time. Bye.